So Gary, earlier this week, I sent you the address for this website I found. Did you get it? Uh, I think I know the one you sent me. You sent me a lot of website links. It was but, the uh, one about Roger Turner, this ah, guy who does uh, the, yes. the poetry there online and stuff. What was the what was the site again? Uh, well, he posts on Hello Poetry Hello a poetry, lot. That was it. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I'd never heard of that site before. It's kind of neat. It's, it's like, pretty cool. It's it's your it's your little blog site, but uh, yeah, everyone like anyone can post on it yeah. as long as you you know you got something to say, I guess, in poetry form. Oh, there is a prose section as well, and I noticed hmm. that uh, Roger posts in that too. Not Fantastic. too many, not as many as the poems, but you know, a couple a couple stories. He's got a lot of uh, a lot of work on there as well. It does. Yeah. He's got like I don't even know. More than a hundred, anyways. Also, he has a Facebook page called, uh, which is kind of funny, Muddled Musings of a Mangled Mind. Nice. And for uh, some of these poems, I don't know, maybe he is a bit mangled. But, or just uh, muddled? Or, yep, could be muddled. Yeah. Could, could be either. But in an entertaining way. And kind but of... I thought, you know what, we should talk about it, because we're literary guys. You know, I'm literate. We we enjoy books and stuff. Yeah. You know, other than comics and definitely. And, that. and I enjoy when people feel that they have something to share and they share it with people. Exactly. Even if, even if like I don't understand where they're coming from, it kind of gets their message through in their writing, and you can kind of understand that way, which I always enjoy. True. I enjoy people expressing themselves. Whether it's things they've gone through, things they they're feeling at the time, things like that, I enjoy I enjoy people's experiences and getting to kind of kind of look into their their side of things and their world. Because if if it's just if you feel like you're at the center of the universe for everything and all your stuff is all important, you're kind you're gonna lose a lot of that experience that you get from seeing the world from another perspective through other people. I agree. I agree. Which. Uh... I read one of these poems called Devil in Disguise. It's a fairly recent one. I'm pretty sure it's a fairly recent one anyways. I'm glad we didn't read the same one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, basically, it's about... Well, he's talking about the devil prescribing pills and stuff like that and addiction and all that. But that's the thing. I don't think he actually means the literal devil. I think he's talking about addiction. Mm -hmm. Like... You know. which, a, which a lot of people struggle with, so this could be kind of, kind of uh, a venue for people that are maybe having those type of struggles in their life to try and see, yeah, to to see and understand something that they're going through through this bit of writing. Which is so good. it's pretty clever. I mean, he even mentions uh, Elvis and Michael Jackson in it. Like, you know, they were also at it. True. So uh, it's kind of cool that he worked them in, and uh, yeah, he talks about you know pills and this and that kind of gets course, the so. feeling that like no one's immune to it because it was a neat poem uh i i enjoyed it like i mean there's so many to choose from but you know i thought i would look at more of a recent one yeah so so what did you read um i actually uh, i think mine was a rather uh, recent one as well uh i grabbed uh, the one called uh, shadow in the shadows kind of kind of cool kind of cool title i like it um i'm not I'm not the biggest poetry aficionado, and uh, I'm yeah. definitely not an English lit major. So I mean, it's got got some things and some uh, some components in there that I don't. That's all right. Quite the well layman understand. opinion but it's still, is valid it, yeah. as well, and I can still enjoy it because of how it's written. It's it's got. Uh, I'm gonna toss around a line. It's got layers. It's hmm. uh, it's got all some some things you can look at it on a first glance and understand it and and see where he's coming from with it. But if you look into it and it's and, deep. Yeah, you can delve into it and look a little bit deeper. Yeah. Uh, one of my favorite components, um, I'm not sure the actual intent behind it, because again, I'm not an English lit major. I'm not the writer, so I don't mm -hmm. know what his... his uh, but what his you meaning, may think yeah. I mean. Um, the, some of the lines about uh, normalcy and uh, not normal, things like that, it kind of opens up a cool discussion, which again... I enjoy if I'm reading in someone's writing if I can discuss it with somebody else mm -hmm. like what is the definition of normal especially in our world today where it seems you can't narrow down that definition yeah. back in the day normal was a nine-to-five job 
You go sit at a desk, you come home to your white picket fence house, there's your wife and 2.5 kids or whatever. So, I mean, that was the very societal narrow view of what normal is. Nowadays, I don't, I don't think the word really means what it used to. So, when, when the program starts talking about normalcy, it could also kind of mean everybody at the same time because nobody's normal, so therefore maybe normal, be everyone not being normal becomes normal. True. So that's, that's, that was uh, kind of that was kind of the part of that that I actually gravitated see, that towards sounded, the most. That sounded not bad. It's yeah, pretty. Because you know. I mean, that's one of the concepts I enjoy. Like, how do you like the definitions of words? Where do they come from? What do they mean? And people's meanings behind what they, when they write mm. them. So, like, if someone says normal, what then again. Mean? He could just mean normal. It could just be normal. <laughs> this could just be me looking too far. But again, that's the that's well, the that, yeah, that's the thing yeah. I felt with Devil in Disguise, right? Like, I don't think he actually it. means the devil's going around yeah. and giving people pills, right? I think he's talking about addiction, yeah. and maybe he had something in his life. You know, you yeah. never know. Maybe he could be running from experience. Maybe he's not. Maybe he's empathizing yeah. with other people. And it's also, hard to say. And also, there's a lot of talk of hiding and kind of not being the person that people see you as. Mm -hmm. Which, you know, quite frankly, I dealt with when I was younger. I mean, yeah. my, my hobbies and the interests that I had Me as weren't, well. weren't the same as even other people in my family. So yeah. I was, I was kind of like, okay, I got to like kind of <clears throat> put on a disguise type of thing. And when I was in school, I mean, my interests and my hobbies weren't as popular in the mainstream as they are now. Yeah. So I was always kind of hiding what I was actually interested in when I wasn't around my core little group of friends. Yeah, exactly. Because I felt, okay... I'm, I'm the outcast type of guy, and I, I know uh, growing up now, I know everyone kind of feels that way. Mm -hmm. So it's one of those things you kind of learn as you get older. And exactly, and you know what? That's a normal feeling. Yeah, nowadays, exactly. Right? So, so that that's kind of why I kind of gravitated towards this one out of the. So that sounds like that a I pretty cool by. poem. Pretty yeah, cool. I enjoyed it. There's uh, definitely definitely things you can kind of uh, make connections to if you've experienced these type of things in your life, and it's just it's a good it's a good read, and huh. you can look at it at different levels and different depths. I agree, and so on. and Devil in Disguise as well. Yeah, it's a good read. It talks about real world problems. Yeah. you know, it happens you can every draw day. parallels to exactly. things that you know about experience or so. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So. Uh, there was another recent one called The Yard Man. It's kind of a fun one, actually. Not yeah. as, well, obviously not as serious as these two poems. Mm -hmm. uh, Which is good, because, I mean, it's, exactly. it's great to have those two ends he, of it. Yeah, break it up a little. You yeah. know, he, like, uh, writes about different things. is good, and exactly. it shows that... that it can't that, be serious all the time. Yeah, and it shows that, um, that, the, that Roger himself has... A wide variety of talent when it comes to writing these because he can write about lots of different things which is exactly. really cool where to start even right yeah but uh this was fairly recent so i thought you know whatever we'll try try this one out and it's pretty good it's it's fun it just basically talks about or verses about uh you know people that do yard work for a living right like the guys that get up in the morning and they go and get ready and they go and mow lawns and mm -hmm. hedges and well, they don't mow hedges. They trim hedges. Mm -hmm. You know, they shovel snow in the winter, and they do all that kind of stuff, and they put up with people doing this and that and whatever. And They probably run into a lot of people that are not too nice to them as well. That's true. And you know what? They work on the hottest days yeah. and the coldest days. and But you kind of know what that's about, too, from just even mowing your own lawn or shoveling your own driveway and everything. It, it was a fun... Do that 80 times over. Exactly. Yeah. It was a fun little poem that everyone can understand and get the gist of. It's... It's like an... It's a... A poem for the layman, like I said earlier. Like, a layman opinion, a layman poem, whatever. It's... It's just fun. It's a fun little poem. And uh, he has quite a few on there like that. Yeah. So... Yeah, I don't know. A, a wide depth of uh, different types of poems. Exactly. Nice. You could read his stuff, like, forever. There's so many. It'd probably take you quite a while to mm -hmm. go through them all. So. How long has uh, Roger been writing these? I'm not sure. Yeah? I'm not sure. I didn't really find any biographical information. Hmm. But, uh, who knows? You know? Oh, well, maybe, maybe we'll ask him on his Facebook page. Yeah, yeah, I could ask him, him and who knows, I'm maybe... going to start reading a few more as well. I mean, I enjoyed, I enjoyed the ones I read. Yeah, maybe, who knows, maybe we can meet the guy in person one day, you know, have him on the show or something, and follow-up episode, who knows. But, uh, 
I think it's I think it's cool. It's kind of cool. And you know what? We're very open-minded guys. We're very literary, in a sense. <laughs> As long, you know, as, those, as long as the literary part reply, uh, has uh, guys in capes and flying around punching things. True, no. true enough. But you know what? I read books. Our our uh, tastes are varied. Yeah. And uh, it was cool to try and to to exercise those different brain muscles and. Yeah. So we don't want everyone pigeonholing us because we're we're pretty pretty awesome here. That never changes. <laughs> we're always awesome. Did we discuss where pigeonhole comes from yet? Yes, we did. Did we? Yes, we did. I never got an answer to that. I should look that up. I thought you, you know the answer. I did not actually answer. look it up. I didn't. I took a different guy. If anyone knows what pigeonholing means, feel free to leave it in the comments. Unless it's like something really, really dirty, don't leave it in the comments. Hmm. PM Jeff about that. <laughs> so uh, everyone, check out Roger Turner, poet extraordinaire, on muddled musings of a mangled mind on Facebook, or. I believe he just goes under his own name on Hello Poetry, because I'm pretty sure that's how mm -hmm. I came across him. So uh, check it out. It's good stuff. We'll uh, put the links uh, below yeah, in the we'll, description we'll as well. link you, you up. Uh, feel free to check and, it out. And, uh, you know... Give him a read. They're, they're, they're tell good Tell us stuff. about one of the poems you enjoyed. Tell yeah. Roger about one of the poems you enjoyed. And uh, we'll try and reply if, you know, you have a valid question or anything. <laughs> So, uh, Only valid questions, apparently. That's oh, right. That's no, right. That's, come Not on. invalid questions. <laughs> like, well, I don't even know what an invalid question would be. I don't think there is such thing as an invalid question. No, I guess not. I guess not. That old adage is nothing's a stupid question. <laughs> Only the question that isn't asked. Oh, there you go. That's an invalid question. That's there not... you go. No, no. No? I don't think so. Because if you don't ask it, by definition, it can't be a question. That is oh. also true. Wow, you're getting deep. You should write a poem. You should do that. I can't write. I'm not. Uh, I can write reviews of toys. That's about where my literary expertise ends. And odds are there's misspelled things in there, so. Yeah. Oh. So, anyways, check out Roger Turner. Highly recommended. Good stuff. Good stuff.